Okay, so we are going to discuss blunt abdominal trauma. This is a very high yield topic for all different USMLE step examinations, but particularly step 2 CK. So, if a patient has a blunt abdominal trauma, what is the first step? Obviously, we look at the patient. If he is unstable, we are going to give them IV fluids. As simple as that, start with the basics. IV fluids first. Now, if the patient is unstable, of course, the second thing to do is a fast examination. What is that? It is a form of an ultrasound that will detect if there is any fluid present in the abdomen. It is a bedside procedure. It is very simple. It is available in all um, emergency departments and you can use it just like that quickly and detect any blood in the thorax, the pelvis, um, all the way through the abdomen. It really depends. Um, there's different kinds of ultrasounds, but the point is to look if there's blood. Now, let's say if, if there is blood, if you see blood on this, that means it is positive. This ultrasound, fast ultrasound is positive. So your next step here would be to take them to the OR for laparotomy. Okay, because this patient is unstable, he did not respond to the IV fluids we gave him. So that means he's having an internal bleed, which we saw on the fast exam, and now we need to surgically repair him. So we'll take him to the OR. Let's say that we did a fast examination and it was inconclusive. So uh, there could be a lot of reasons it could be inconclusive. Either the patient is obese or there is another kind of um, difficulty in assessing the FAST test or the examination. So if it is inconclusive, you do the DPL. This is a relatively very old test, but we still do it if the FAST is inconclusive. Okay. Now, if this TPL was positive, you do the same thing. You take them to the OR for laparotomy. But if this is negative and this is negative, both our FAST and DPL are negative, it means that the bleeding is not in the abdomen. If the patient is still hypotensive, unstable, it means that the bleeding is going on somewhere else. And what are the most likely sites other than the abdomen where you can have massive bleeding? Definitely not the brain, but the other sites are the pelvis, the pelvic structures. They can have a massive hemorrhage with a lot of blood bleeding through and you will not see a single sign of it. No ecchymosis, nothing, and you're having this huge bleed from the pelvic iliac arteries and whatnot, and the patient is unstable. You cannot see it on the fast because the fast doesn't go all the way to pelvis. I know I said that before, that you do, you can do it on the pelvis, but that is wrong. So you cannot, that is why you cannot see the pelvic bleeding. So this could be one of the hidden uh, places. The second one would be a long bone fracture. Most of the times this patient will have severe pain if he had a fracture, um, but maybe you're not able to see that the bleeding is going on over there. So you look if they have any kind of hemat. Do a good physical examination firstly on these patients with occult bleeding and see if they have you can see any signs on their physical examination that would show, for example, swelling from a hematoma or effusion or even retroperitoneal hematoma can sometimes present with severe back pain. But okay, besides this, so you will look if your lap, I'm sorry, if your fast examination and your DPL are both negative, you will 
look to see if any of these two sources are the cause of this patient's hemorrhage. If they are, you will stabilize them. You For pelvic fractures or bleeding, you usually have to do an angiography, a radiographic angiography. And it's like interventional radiography. It's really cool these days because we have that option. Before, we didn't have that option. But, so we do that for pelvic. Um, and if there's a fracture, you go and repair, take them to the OR, repair the fracture. And that will help us maybe help them out and help the patient out. So, but if a patient was, this was for an unstable patient, but if a patient was stable after a blunt abdominal trauma, then stable. What would be the next step? If you said CT scan, you are correct. Because in a stable patient, you have enough time to take them to the CT scan room. It's that huge room with the, where you put them into the scanner well, and for, for us to be able to transport them to the CT scanner and do the whole thing, wait for the results, she usually takes about at least 15 minutes if the ER is not backed up. So if they are stable, that is the reason why. They have to be stable because it takes a while to get a CT scan result and to do it, to go through the whole procedure. So um, if they're stable, you could do a CT scan. If they're unstable, do not do a CT scan. If they are unstable, you do a fast examination. IV fluids, fast examination, depending if they are, you find blood, take them to the OR. No blood, you have to look for other sources like pelvic fracture, or pelvic bleeding or a lung bone fracture and I think that is all about blunt abdominal trauma that is essential to know the management step by step.